Hello YouTubers, it's me again. Um, the missus has dragged me down into Norfolk and we're in a lovely little place um, right on the river Yare, as you can probably see <laughs> over my shoulder there. Um, and we've got all the stuff in and, and like, as you do, I've kind of dropped a little bit of ground bait in and dropped a float in just to find out what the depth in the everything was like and pretty much had a roach about yay big straight away so quite pleased with that so yeah should be an interesting <laughs> few days that we're going to be here i'll probably be doing a little bit of filming on and off oh. just to have uh, some much needed content for the channel because i know i've been neglecting you all just recently Gosh, right. but um told you before love horses and men sweat ladies perspire i, I sweat okay fine I'll, I'll try and introduce you uh, try and introduce you to Mrs. Drynet later if she'll go on camera. I don't know if she will. Are you naked? <laughs> right, you're in for a treat then, boys. <laughs> so, Mrs. Drynet, how are you enjoying it so far? Do you like the place? Yeah, it's right. Yeah. And you're right with me doing a little bit of fishing while we're here. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said we're coming. Out. I'm not obsessed or anything, am I? Just a little one jump. Can we set it right up for you? No, in a minute. I might read a book actually. A bit. Read a I book? Thought, I thought I was going to be watching you catch fish. You caught one. You've got all this water and you want to read a book? <laughs> uh, oh. You might have noticed earlier on Vincent Von Wolf is with us as well. He's been terribly excited. He enjoyed the two and a half hour drive up here. Uh -huh. He was very well behaved, mostly. But I'm going to get the. Uh, back windows de-salivered <laughs> once we get home. Mm. This is a really really nice place. I mean we've got so I've got a quiver tip with me. Mm. I've got my little trotting gear. Possibly double that up as a, a little bit of a spinning rod if I need to later on. I've got a float rod for Mrs. Drying it. I've got a bought cart rod and my pod because I don't know. Apparently there are rumoured to be carp in, in this lake, but sorry, in this river. No, that, that little one jumped, there must be pike in there. The little one keeps jumping out. And there's definitely pike in here. Mm. I already read that up. Or two, like, two little ones have jumped. So my challenge is to try and get as many species out as possible. So I've done one on the roach. Apparently it's good for bream here. Um, Perch, definitely gonna have a bash for them. Um, pike as well would be good. Don't think I've that actually barbel. caught. Don't know this barbel in here, dear. It's supposed to be good for bream. Um, yeah, we'll see what comes along. I'm gonna start a baiting campaign over the next sort of a day or so. Well, I say we're not fishing exclusively. We've got beach days planned. This weather's supposed to be getting better. It's a bit drizzly at the moment, but it's very, very hot, sweaty, as you can probably uh. tell, looking at me. But um, yeah, it's a nice break away for our anniversary because I love my wife. <laughs> Great. What? <laughs> All my other women love comments like that. Hello again. So um, 10 past 7 in the evening, we uh, nipped up the road earlier to the nearest supermarket, got some supplies in and uh, treated ourselves for a fish supper as it's our anniversary today and um, even Vincent Wormworth got a Savaloy out of it so he was happy. So we've come back and we're just chilling out, I've got a couple of rods out, I've, I've set a carp rod up with some boilies fishing tight into the edge of this platform that we're on. Going up one way and down the other way. I've got um, just a quiver tip out. I'm just going to keep an eye on that. That's just corn and bread on that one. Obviously, boilies on the carp rod. Um, I have seen, or rather, the, the Mrs. Drynet spotted it first today. Um, it's a white koi patrolling up and down in front of us. It looks to be about three, maybe three and a half, four pounds. I don't know. 
but obviously very distinguished because he's bright white shows up but if he's about there might be others so that was what prompted me to put a cardboard in so we will uh, wait and see what occurs so I did have a nice bed of um, mm? boilies down here as a ground bait but baity boy there him and his mates have just polished off my entire ground bait bed. <laughs> no, don't jump out, you like yourself. What are you doing, Vincent? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you want? Why don't you come out the proper door? Yeah, look, come this way. Come, look, this way. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That's where you're supposed to go, you big Nelly. So you can sleep out here tonight, like that honeymoon. Slipped out on the balcony. I ain't just... that piss love, sorry. <laughs> it's probably not a great shot, but that's the two koi that have been swimming up and down. I reckon probably mid to upper singles. Don't seem to be interested in feeding and even if they were, with the swans mopping up the boys, I probably wouldn't be able to get a pick up of them anyway. Actually, I just spotted there's a third one out there. Yeah. yeah. So there's three of them. They're doing a little dance. Yeah. Probably mating. There are three. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The other one's quite dark, so I don't know if he's going to pick him up because those two obviously being quite light. But there is a third dark. I can't see the two. I can't see the third. Yeah, there is a third. Yeah, he's right at the back. He's a third oh, darker yeah, one. Got a bit Just yeah, at the yeah, back there. He's got a little. He's got probably yeah. a ghosty. Yeah, there you go. You can see all three of them there yeah, now. Yeah, darker one, isn't it? Yeah. It's ghosty, I think. Mm. So. Why are they all following each other like that? I know, they're probably Mate. feeling a little bit of spring in the air. Oh well, that's my mission then. What, to catch a coin? See if I can have one of them out before, before yeah. we go home. And find a way to stop these buggers down here eating all my bait. Mm. Day two's a bit of a change. Not looking very good at all today. But you can say it was going to rain. So. Had a nice light in this morning, if nothing else. Everything's wet. The mats are wet. My nets are wet. Hey, let's change. Uh, have a cup of tea now. And think about what we're going to do today. A lot of weed out there. A lot of weed. You alright there, Vincent Von Wolf? Yeah? You comfy? My ground sheet, that is, you know that, didn't you? You alright, mate? Lay down, you're fine. Right, I'm doing a piece to camera love, just ignore me, don't look at me like that, alright, 
<laughs> so I've just had and missed a good bite on the quiver tip using a 14mm halibut pellet. Apologies for the gratuitous nakedness as well, but it's quite warm now after the rain we start. So yeah, I'm quite encouraged by that. Um, I'm not sure what it was, but I've realised I've got barbers hook on. So I've got to change that rig out and get a barbed hook. And then maybe next time if I get one, I might hang on to it. But made up a little ground bait mix, which is really nice. It's got a little bit of robin red shrimp meal, all sorts of stuff in it. Blood meal flavouring, green lip muscle extract flavouring. So it pongs, but it seems to be doing the job. Anyways, keep an eye. Hope we'll have something for you soon. So I've improvised the cart gear because stupidly I don't have extending bank sticks on this thing. And the gate along the edge of the decking is higher than the rod pod. So just drop the back onto the floor, gets the tip up just high enough so I can drop the line down and I'm literally going right down the edge of this deck and I've baited up an area down here. Now I'm not sure if you're going to see anything down there on the bottom. She's probably having problems focusing but there you go look couple of boilies there so I've just literally just dropped a handful over on top of the bait now yesterday you got mobbed by swans I'm hoping that doesn't happen today because they uh, obviously like them because they ate a lot yesterday I'm getting a little bit of a problem with um, debris gathering up on the line I'm going to keep an eye on that Shouldn't affect bite registration, but if there's enough on there, it's going to start dragging the bait. But yeah, I'm encouraged. I've seen, well, actually, my wife, Mrs. Drynet, the fish spotter, um, she's identified four different koi carp now going up and down here. And this morning I saw a, a good double sized mirror carp charging through in the middle. So they're about, they're definitely in there. But um, just get them on the baits, isn't it? That's the trick. Get them on the bait. We'll see how we get on with that. Look at all of that pate. I've had to wait a little while for this one, but it's nice. Eh? Fat chunk of bream. I did that about, I don't know. Just pound and a half, two pound maybe? No, three pound. He's mouth bleeding, I think. Yeah, it looks do that. There we go. What's nice. off your finger? Well, nice little two or three pound bream. Give him a look. Give him a look. Oh, no, put it back in the water. Do you poo yourself? Right, it's good. Thank you. When we have super high, I end up dropping the net. Hey, well done. Oh, no fair. Huh? No fair. Oh, I better go and do lunch then. Did you melt the butter? Or did you not no, get that far? I didn't get that far. <laughs> And today, in Drynet's kitchen, we are preparing burgers and sausages. So stay tuned for a wonderful, wonderful time in the outdoor kitchen. Sausages.
touching your nose hairs out of that? Have we got all these sausages over there? What are you doing then? He's got these little paws in red coat. I wonder if he's got burnt them and walking on the rubbish or something. Yeah. Oh, there's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Prick them, no, you're not supposed to prick sausages when you cook them because that's where the goodness come out apparently. You're supposed to put the insides out, you know, the insides of them. They're still cooked. You don't have to prick them because that, all the juice of that comes out and you want to keep that all sealed in. Yeah? No one likes to prick their sausage. Big fat bream on. Mm. Don't fight as much as the other one. Well, they've heard about my reputation, love, and they've decided just to give up early because they oh know that it was lost. Oh, it's just a little bit bigger than the last one, I think. Is it? No. Oh. Quite a tell. Oh. What was that on that black thing? That black thing? Mm. Do you mean the um, halibut pellets mm. again? Yes. Let's quickly get a shot on. Here we go, folks. No, I think the other one's bigger. Another nice one. Well, you can put it in the net, gently. I haven't. The net's got a hook in it and I can't get the oh. hook out. It's better to get the fish back in the water than have me messing around with nets, dear. Right, so I'll give you a quick run through of the rig that I'm using. Um, I've got a Shimano Katana AX feeder rod, my favourite feeder rod. Um, try to buy another one, can't get one. But, um, off of that, we've got uh, I were real, can't remember, I've had it for years, probably 20 years. Anyway, braided line to nice big cage feeder, hook link, and oh, slow down. A size hook of some description. So um, it's really quite simple. Filling up with a little ground bait mix that I've knocked up based on the uh, original recipe from. TA Fishing's Brian Pullen, I might add, which is basically wheat bran, Bailey's number one <laughs> horse feed. Right, yes. love. And um, I've added shrimp meal, betaine, what else? Oh, lots of robin red. And I've added a little bit of green lipped mussel extract and some blood meal flavouring. And it actually smells really nice. I'm not going to eat it. I wanted to, but I know not to. But anyway, let's see if we can get another one out. Come to America. Oh. Oh, I'm in front of your video. So I knew baiting that spot up for a couple of days. Something had to come along eventually. Do you have to get your net in the water? Do you want me to do that? I'm not sure I've even got scales with me, but this looks like it's a 20. It's a big mirror. Oh, he's got so much power. Don't look that big. I'm not being nasty. 
That is a big fish. It's about 16 and a half. Dicky dickier. <laughs> it does. I've caught one before. <laughs> Once. Yeah. That's a beautiful fish though. I do like we'll get this in. I've got to put this camera down. Yeah, because you're not going to get it. You can hold that and film me if you like. Might be a now. See, that's 20. Calm down. <laughs> Look at that beauty. <laughs> Nearly as good looking as you. <laughs> Come on, little fishy. Jump into the netty. Oh, well, that's a pretty fish. Oh. Oh. It's, it's gliding in. And is it in? Yes. Wow, do you want me to help you lift it up? <laughs> well, I'm just glad I got it. Uh. I said you'd get a carp, didn't I? I said you'd get a carp on this holiday. That's a 20 on from that. Oh yeah, it does look bigger now it's that. <laughs> <laughs> Much bigger. Have I got to take pictures on here or on your camera? Um, oh, I've lost your camera. It's... Keep filming that for me because that's where I've learned this uh, the most. Oh, that's big, isn't it? Oh, are you sure you ain't got your slings, you Wally? I've got my slings, but I don't... A scale. My first <coughs> I'm still filming, I can get you in there. That's still got you. So it's still pointing me? Yeah. <coughs> right, so I'm going to sit these since I'm all right. They're on zero, so I'll have to take off the weight of the sack afterwards. But, let's have a look. It's been so good as well, this fish. Oh. I don't read that. Oh, for God's sake. Actually, I think that's 18 pounds. Ah. So it's not a 20, that's big though, that's a bloody good fish for the first river part. I've got to knock off the weight of the set. So that's 18 pounds. Right, you're going to be able to... Come on. You got that? So, hang on. Have a look. Press and hold. That's making shutter noise. That's it. Oh, your face is shit One more. And there she's going back. Hey, look. What? Pontius Booth didn't finish it off the back. Oh my god. Believe it. Oh, that was amazing. <sighs> Bye, fishy. I'm not sure I've even got scales with me, but this looks like it's a 20. It's a big mirror. Oh, he's got so much power. It's not that big. I'm not being nasty. That is a big fish. It's about 16 and a half. <laughs> Dicky dickier. It does. I caught one before. He's boring on. <laughs> Getting abused by Mrs. Drynet because I've messed up the first take. Like she's a brilliant an expert. Right, I see you. Okay, I'm, I'm getting you later. Getting you later. Anyway, um, I can't remember if I mentioned earlier on, but I'm on the river. <laughs> <laughs> Take three. <laughs> Are you finished? So. So. As I may have explained earlier, I'm on a short break with Mrs. Drynet, who's making this impossible. <laughs> and uh, I'm on the river, yeah. 
Yeah. Right, because yeah, yeah. that was, I couldn't remember the name of the river, so this is why we're on take three now. Yeah, oh, God, now the dog started off as well. <laughs> Vinny, Vincent, what are you doing? You all right? Hey? Get. <laughs> so, hopefully, earlier on, you saw the footage that I had of me um, catching, like, playing, and landing my first ever river carp. I've never ever caught one before. Um, I've not even really ever fished for them, but the opportunity presented itself at this location and um, I read up on the river before we came out and I knew that it wasn't going to be easy that there's um, that on this stretch of the river the carp are few and far between and they, they move around a lot and we've actually seen in the couple of days that we've been here we've seen four different koi carp we've identified they've been up, up and down like a few times I'd also seen a mirror carp and I'd also seen a common carp. Now, whether the mirror that I caught was the one that I'd seen previously, I couldn't tell you, I don't know. But count myself very, very lucky to have caught that fish. Um, I baited up a, a, a clear area right against the platform on this place for a couple of days now with boilies, and I just literally dropped a bait right off the edge and had a back lead on it just to keep the line down. And uh, I was extremely lucky because literally while I was putting the fish back in, um, the swan had moved in and was mopping up the rest of the ground bait. So it, it was just absolute blind luck that I had it. So I'm really pleased. So anyway, um, the fish has not been brilliant. I've, I've had been quiver tipping with um, had three bream out. Um, actually hooked one up while I was playing the carp, but that was snagged up. Managed to get the fish and the gear out of the snag. But the fish, I lost that, so technically that would have been four bream. A um, couple of small roach, it's really been, you know, fairly quiet. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been it's been an interesting couple of days, that's to say the least. So anyway, because it's been a very, very successful day, I was saving something for a special occasion. I bought it with me. Um, this is the last one of these that I've got. And it's very, very unlikely I'm ever going to get it again. And this is my Northern Monk. My last can of the four that I had of hazelnut. And so, here it is. Now, I did do a piece on this to camera before. Mm. And um, it's a very, very nice drop. So I've been saving this one for a special occasion. Um, the only problem, this place that we're in hasn't got any luck, like, proper beer glasses or anything. The only thing I think that's fitting to put that in is that. Which is what I'm going to do. So, to celebrate my lucky catch. Incidentally, I've got the carp rod out again, and I've got a quiver tip out in front of me, behind the camera, which I'm watching on and off. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, that's not all the fit in. Oh, that really is special. I tried the um, second one in Hayes's range, which is the um, Pina Colada IPA, and um, it was nice, but it's, it's really not as nice as this one. So, in celebration of my first river carp, 16 and a half pounds mirror, cheers everyone, glad I could share it with you. Yeah. I'm going to try not to touch this one. I think I've been slimed enough this week. Yeah. So all that ground baiting paid off in the end after all. Mm -hmm. 
Right, let's get this out. Here you go, folks. I love a big fat breed. Hello everybody! <laughs> Cold day at the beach! Yes, we're having a day off from the fishing today <laughs> and the, the lodge that we're staying in and we've come down to one of our old haunts which is the beach at Hemsby we spent many happy family days down here in the past he had his first beach, beach experience here and uh, he's, I don't think he's forgotten he's quite enjoyed himself running around down here Yeah, we was hoping we'd get some sunshine. It's not great, but we'll sit here until we start getting hypothermic, then we'll go and find somewhere warm to sit. <coughs> it's not changed much. Sand tastes the same. <laughs> and there's a big old concrete pillbox that used to be here. That's, that's disappeared. I don't know whether they removed it or whether... Uh, it's just been buried under the sand again but yeah that's that's featured in a few family photos in the past so yeah let's have a couple of hours down here maybe have a little walk around the uh, arcade and that after maybe go and look for a place to buy we might come up every year then that'd be fun wouldn't it get a bit of sea fishing done And as Mrs. Drynan walked off into the sunset, there was peace and calm across the land. And Drynan set the camera to the correct horizontal position. And all was good. Hello, glampers, campers. River Ramblers. Right, oh, it's the last evening and we had a day out at the beach today just walking around. As you can probably tell from my red facade. Um, bad rods out all afternoon and this is the first fish I've had. If you've guessed it, it's another snotty bream. We're watching the England ladies team do a very good job against Norway. Oh, no. I'm not. You get the idea. You've seen these. It's a big old lump of bream. I think for his benefit and mine, I'm leaving him in the net. I'm just going to unhook him. Uh. Oh, it's actually darker than it looks. It's uh, half past nine at night now. So, anyway, I'm going to put him back and um, see if I can get any more before bedtime. Mm -hmm. 